Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are considering Los Angeles, Toronto and Vancouver Island for their new home. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly considering a move to Los Angeles, Toronto or Vancouver Island after announcing their step back from the British royal family. The couple planned to settle in North America after they celebrated the holidays in a $20 million waterfront property waterfront mansion there, according to royal sources. They are supposedly thinking about settling somewhere familiar to Meghan, with Toronto and her native Los Angeles being possible contenders, reports The Telegraph. A source connected to the leafy North American home said their accommodation, there was a short-term arrangement over the Christmas period. The former Suits actress was born and raised in Los Angeles, but lived in Toronto to film Suits between 2011 and 2016, so she has strong ties to both places. Meghan and Harry returned to the Canadian city for the Invictus Games, a sporting event which was pioneered by the Duke. After LNT Channel exclusively revealed their plans to leave the UK, the Duchess jetted back to Vancouver Island, where eight-month-old Archie was minded by a nanny, stylist Jessica Mulroney, and Meghan's family. She arrived in Vancouver late Thursday, and then took a connecting flight to the nearby hamlet, where she and Harry had previously enjoyed a lengthy vacation in November. Archie remained there, when his mom and dad returned to London to inform Queen Elizabeth of their bombshell plan to step down from their roles as senior members of the royal family. Reports indicate Meghan hasn't booked a return flight, but Vancouver Island is reportedly a bit too quiet for the power couple. Harry and his wife are hoping to become financially independent of the royal purse. Their Frogmore cottage was refurbished using dollar free, Dot one million worth of British taxpayers' money remains empty, but the couple supposedly plan to keep it as their UK base. The LMT Channel reports they have already shipped their beloved pets, Rescue Beagle Guy and a female Black Labrador puppy, to Canada in November, and they haven't returned. Sources say this was a massive clue, telling the publication. Both the Duke and Duchess adore their dogs and Guy has already been relocated from Canada to London, once when Meghan moved over. She wouldn't have considered a move again for him, if it wasn't going to be at least semi-permanent. It would appear the couple may be planning a more long-term stay in Vancouver Island, considering they moved their pets there. North Canada certainly has fond memories for the couple. Harry often visited Meghan there when they were dating and she was filming suits. The Queen's former press secretary Dickie Arbiter said, This is a landmark meeting, which is dash absolutely unprecedented. A palace source confirmed they will also discuss the next steps for the monarchy, with an announcement due within days. The meeting will be the first time Harry has come face to face with his grand since revealing his plan to quit frontline duties last week. The summit comes as the royals face their biggest crisis since Princess Diana's death in 1997. Earlier this week, Meghan and Harry were slammed for the secrecy surrounding their North American bolt hole home in Vancouver Island, where they plotted their shock abdication. The couple refused to say if they paid for their six-week stay or even confirm who the property belongs to. Neighbors say the sprawling mansion where they stayed is owned by a Russian billionaire, but his name is not on any public paperwork. The home was purchased for approximately $15 million, but since then has seen a spike in value. It raises questions over the transparency of their monetary arrangements at a time when they want to become financially independent. Reports have also emerged about the detrimental impact of their decision to leave on Harry's mental health after Prince Charles reportedly realized his son was at his tipping point. The news comes as celebrity pals in the U.S. rally around Meghan and Harry following their shock announcement. I think, I think Harry's almost certainly 
been asked to go to Balmoral. I mean, the Prince of Wales is at Balmoral as well at the moment. I'm sure they'll, if they've got any sense, they'll get on a plane and go up there and spend the weekend with the Queen talking it through. Moment Prince Harry touts wife Meghan for a Disney voiceover job during Lion King premiere. This is the astonishing moment Prince Harry appears to lay the groundwork for his wife's Disney voiceover deal six months ago. He was filmed revealing Meghan Markle's interest to Bob Iger, the Disney chief at the London premiere of The Lion King in July. The Duke pointed to his wife and said in hushed tones, you do know she does voiceovers? Mr. Igor, looking surprised, replies, Ah, I did not know that. Before Harry continues, You seem surprised. She's really interested. The Disney bigwig says, We'd love to try. That's a great idea. And this week it emerged, Megan has signed a deal with Disney in return for a donation to a wildlife charity. The Duchess of Sussex will do the voiceover, to help fund Elephants Without Borders, an organization that helps to track and protect the animals from poaching. News of the voiceover deal suggests the former Suits actor might be looking to return to Hollywood as a way of gaining financial independence. Last year, the Sussexes announced on Instagram Disney had made a substantial donation to their wildlife charity work. And at the same premiere in July, Megan offered a hint she was having a hard time as a royal. She told the singer and producer Farrell Williams, they don't make it easy. During the premiere in London's Leicester Square, the couple met the film's cast and crew, as well as representatives from African Parks, the conservation organization which counts the Duke as a patron. Earlier in the year, Disney had honored the royal couple with a watercolor Winnie the Pooh animation to celebrate the birth of the new royal baby. Hand, drawn by senior principal artist Kim Raymond, the beautiful painting shows the world's favorite bear delivering a book to Archie. Experts said becoming brand ambassadors for global giants, such as Apple could see Prince Harry and Meghan earn tens of millions annually, a nine-figure sum each year, $1.100 million, would add up to $1 billion, 760 pounds. Over a decade, UK branding expert Claire Shields said the couple's value could quickly challenge the Beckhams, worth $1.915 million. According to the Times, senior members of the royal family accused Harry and Meghan of already signing a deal with firms including Disney, intense talks before Christmas. It comes days after Harry and Meghan announced they are stepping down as senior royals and plan to spend much of their time abroad. The news took Buckingham Palace by surprise, with the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William giving 10 minutes notice before the button was pressed. The Duke and Duchess said in their surprise statement on January 8th, after many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make the transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution. The Queen was said to be disappointed by Harry and Meghan's bombshell announcement after no other members of the royal family were consulted before the news was released. Meghan flew to Britain on Monday after the couple spent six weeks away over Christmas. But she has already returned to their luxury bolt hole on Vancouver Island, Canada. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.